Hi guys, my name is Jana, and I totally forgot about the Kumihimo. I was planning on doing uh, a couple of more tutorials. First of all, I did the beginners one, so I'm all set up. I got my weights clipped on. On my thread, I'm using silk thread, three millimeters wide. My thread is from my hand. I hold it in my hand like this for the knot, uh, like this. So I got like, this is where the knot will be, and then I pull it to my chest and cut it off. And I want to do a flat braid now. I want to show you how that works. So we're going to start with the black ones. The left one goes to the right side underneath the greens. The right side goes on the left side underneath the purples. The orange one on the right goes to the left and the orange one on the left goes to the right. The bottom one of the two purples goes up. The top one on the left side goes down. And the same with the green ones. The bottom one goes up and the top one goes down. Now you need to reposition them. And you're going to start all over again. Purple one goes to the bottom. Green one goes to the bottom. Green one goes to the top. Purple goes to the top. Bottom black goes up. Bottom black here goes up. Top orange goes down. And top orange goes down. And reposition. Black one on the left goes down on the right, black one on the right goes down on the left, orange on the right goes to the left, orange on the left goes to the right, bottom green one goes up, top green one goes down, you get the bottom purple goes up, and top purple goes down and reposition. Green on the left to the right, purple on the right to the left, purple on the right to the left, green on the left goes to the right, black bottom goes top, orange goes down, black goes to top, orange goes down, and green gets repositioned, and so does purple. And now we're at the start. Got to untangle my cords a little bit. So let's go around one more time. Black left goes to the bottom, black right goes to the bottom, orange right goes through the left, orange left goes to the right, purple bottom goes to top, purple top goes to bottom, green bottom goes to top, and green top goes to bottom and reposition. Again, purple top goes to right bottom, green goes down, green goes up, purple goes up, 
Okay, let's get started. We got a round disc and we're going to make a flat braid. So, we're going to start with the left top, which goes underneath the two that you have on the right. Then we're going to take the right top that goes underneath the two that you have on the left. We're going to take the right one that goes to the top that goes above the two you have on the right and we're going to take this one and put that on the other side above the two that you have on the right. Now we have two here the purple ones that need to move now so we're going to go left middle to bottom then we're going to take the green top one and go Now we need to move these two. Got it. Now we need to make these now we need to move these two. So we're gonna take the bottom one of the purples and we're gonna to go to the top. Then we're gonna take the green one and go to the top. Take the purple one, go to the bottom, take the green one, go to the bottom, and then we reposition these two next to the dots. So we're going to do that again. Pick up the purple one, cross over underneath the threads, pick up the green one, cross over also underneath the threads pick up the green one, go above the threads, pick up the purple one, go above the threads. First we're gonna move the black one, that's the bottom one of the two in the middle, move it up, grab the other black one, move it up, grab the orange one, move it down, grab this orange one, move it down, Put the green ones back in position. There. And then you're just going to continue doing that. Black one underneath the two. Black one underneath the other two. Orange one. Cross over. Be careful you don't do this. Cross over. And orange. Cross over. Bottom green goes to top bottom purple goes to the top and the top green goes to the bottom and the top purple goes to the bottom reposition and again green down purple down purple up green up, black to top, black to top, orange to bottom, orange to bottom, and reposition. And untangle if you need to, in this case I do. Okay, now I'm going to do a couple of them and then I'm going to show you the braid that it turns into. And I got a bracelet here that is long enough, so I'm going to take out my thread carefully, of course, and I'm going to make a loop. And I made it long enough so I can go over the braid. that braid doesn't come undone and now I can just kind of pull it out over the braid there untie my weight and I got like a really pretty bracelet and this is the top 
this is the bottom as you can see black kind of disappears here so we want a black we want the black in there and it's flat so you really don't need a flat square board like these you can do it with a round board just the same and now you need to finish this up now to finish this up I went to the um, flower store and I got some of that stuff that they're using and I got a good flower wrist I guess good connections with the flowers and what I'm gonna do is because the other one that I used in the other video the beginners video is really hard and very hard to work with so this is much easier so I'm just gonna tie this around and if you're a master at wire wrapping you're probably better at it than I am I just kind of try and stay close to the other thread go around about three times try to keep that close and at the fourth one cut it off pliers push that down a little bit push the end down a little bit and try and keep that close together just kind of smash it in like that and just push it down so it flattens out and you got everything tight and you might need to work with that a little bit and my pliers are broken they won't open anymore so I need new pliers but they lasted me 10 years so pretty good and make sure that that end doesn't stick out and just kind of get that in there okay now what I do next is I especially for this reason got me a real pair of scissors these are fabric scissors so I'm gonna cut that off and then I'm just gonna open that up a little bit and find the long ends and just cut that off some more so you got about this and the next thing I do I'm gonna torch it and this is gonna be really hot so you gotta be really careful because I've burned myself several times already and this will melt just gonna melt it down <sighs> don't set your house on fire and be careful that you don't burn this side of the thread and then just let that cool off because that's really hot don't I, w I don't even want to work on this side before this is cooled off so I'm gonna wait a little bit until that's cooled off and then we're gonna do the other side okay now you can take off your wire This is really hard. Put that one on there. Okay. Now we got the ends all taken care of, I would say. Feels nice and tight. I'm gonna do the same thing on that side. Jump rings. Open them up. Little extension cord. In the loop close off the loop and I always push a little bit on the top to make sure that that is really closed and that's the top where the opening is of course and another jump ring open it up lobster clasp 
and it goes on on the other side. Closing that up. And there you have it. So now you know how to do a flat braid on a round disc. Well, that's it, guys. I hope to see you next time.